So today I'm going to be talking about Louis, who is a male horsefield tortoise. And he has been in captivity from quite a young age. You can see here, he would have been a captive bred horsefield most likely. And can you see his shell is a bit deformed? And this is why I wanted to do a little video about Louis. So from quite an early age, he's had some stunted growth. And this is what you'd call metabolic bone disease. And this is because he hasn't been given a, lots of different um, things haven't been quite right in his care. So with tortoises, you need to think about keeping an okay humidity. You need to give them access to calcium and UV and also be feeding them a high fiber, low protein diet. So no junk food, no um, veggies or fruit. Uh, which is junk food and or lettuce because that's great for water but it's got no nutrition in it. We need to be trying to feed weeds and a high fibre diet. And with horse fields they grow really slow in the wild. So a big problem with captive is they're often overfed um, a little bit too much and Louis you can even see he's got a bit of a deformed beak. Can you see here? And that's also from incorrect diet not having the right building blocks when he was small. And you particularly see this when you have a younger tortoise um, because they're still forming their exoskeleton, which is their shell. And unfortunately, Louis is now always going to have a slightly deformed shell from early start. Actually, for the last 10 years, he's had the correct diet, but because those early years, he didn't get the building blocks he needed. He's gonna be a little bit special needs um, for the rest of his life. So we know he's a horse field because he's got a very characteristic four claws on his front legs here and they're often quite round horse fields look a little bit like a pork pie i think um, and the idea is that in the wild they'll go down a burrow of another animal and they can turn back around again and come out again which i think is, is quite fun uh, first tortoise first tortoise to ever go in space and come back the russians sent one into space years ago and i think they make super pets as long as you spend time with them and you really make provision to make sure they've got a really well drained enclosure because Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, Mongolia, where they come from, um, there's lots of rocks. Yes, it does get cold, but they're not, they don't have damp. So it doesn't mean that you've got to keep them dry, but you just got to make sure that they don't set, sit on wet grass and that you're putting lots of aggregate, slate chip, slabs in their enclosure and they are very good at digging. So the more aggregate and gravel and slabs you can put in, the less likely your horse is gonna dig down and vanish on you. Um, they are prone to respiratory problems, eye problems, um, and going down several foot and digging into soft soil. So it's actually worth digging out an enclosure and, and actually buying aggregate and putting it in. So there's less chance your tortoise is going to dig down, but then it's also going to help the substrate stay really well drained and a little bit more like what they'd have in the wild. Here, Louis in this temporary enclosure, because he's actually reserved going to a new home, it's not huge because he's one of the smaller breeds of tortoise. You can see he's about the size of my hand. So this enclosure, you know, it's modest. It's just it's about maybe one meter by four meters. He's got his ensuite. He can go in and out into into um, a greenhouse area with a heat lamp for bad weather days, and we can lock him in if we know it's going to go below ten degrees at night. You know, this is absolutely super, and it's in a south space, south facing um, space, so it's getting as much sun as we can offer in the UK. Um, and Louis's been pottering around all day. We've seen him browsing on different edible food, but we are also putting in uh, supplementary food as well. If Louis was in here full time, this is at the centre um, in the UK, we would probably add even more aggregate than this. Um, but he's doing really well. And um, you see, he's quite friendly. Horsefields often get a lot of bad press because they can be a little bit huffy and worry people because they'll hide in their shells. But if, you're, if you spend time sitting with them, reading a book and, and hanging out with them and hand feeding them, they can be friendly like Louis. Um, and I would always recommend, regardless of the breed of tortoise that you have, if you can spend time with them, touching their shell, gently touching their head, um, getting them used to having their neck tickled. They love having their neck tickled and it's a great one if you ever need to go to the vet. Um, it means that they're not going to be so scared and the vet will be able to do what they need to do to check their, check their mouths or, you know, cheap feed them or do, you know, do whatever they need to do on, on a bad day. So 
Um, I hope this video is helpful. Um, I know a lot of people out there keep horse field tortoises. I will try and do another video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.